<laughs> like if you don't do the scavenger hunt and all the um extra stuff that Crawler wants you to do. That, or if he says it and you go to say like, but I didn't, he goes, shh. <laughs> Not now. See? All right, everybody. Welcome back to some more of Psychonauts. All right, we went back and got the other two brains. One of them was in one of the dark rooms that I had to illuminate and be like, ah, there it is. Yeah. And the other one was back when we were like climbing the um, tower. Uh, yeah, the tower, but also like when we were just like, oh, he might need a tetanus shot. Oh, like that yeah. part. Okay. It's not the wiring. It's maybe the piping. Just like the structure. Yeah, climbing the structure. So there we go. We got all the brains. Now we've reached the point of no return. Dun, dun, dun. There's no going back now. We're going into the end game of Psychonauts. <laughs> the end game. <laughs> Thanos just shows up. He points over his shoulder and goes, Who's daggering? At least he never got inside your brain. It's going to take me weeks to get my rhythm back. Rasputin, you have surprised us yet again. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Hey, hey, all in a day's work for a psychonaut. <laughs> well, psychodet, you mean. Hey, the psychonauts should be so lucky to get someone like Raz. The brain he's got in there is... is one in a million. Thanks to all of you for bringing it straight to my door. <gasps> Oleander. You! You took all my friends' brains. You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster. You stole all the teachers, derailing my education. And you kidnapped my girlfriend. Rasputin, this fight is too big for you. Back home, I had to clean up after the elephants. So well, trust girlfriend. me, I know how to take <laughs> care of this ugly little pile. That's my wife! <laughs> Tall people. Ready for a psychonaut battle? Hmm. Too bad. <laughs> oh. Play sad. Well, it's official. The genius is back. Time to go get ready for my gallery show. I love this. Uh oh. Uh -oh. This looks bad. Ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas. Long so we're going to have like a domino effect right here. Oh, here's what my poor flowers need. A little water. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. They're going to make mustard gas. <laughs> Basically. Long time no see. Oh, Mr. Orderly. I did not see you there. I was just taking a little therapeutic walk in the moonlight. Relax. The asylum's closed. We can see, all go home. They all thought it was open. Leave? Here? Yeah, this place is for crazy people. And I don't know about you, but I ain't crazy no more. I have to tell Twitch, you Twitch. <laughs> for us all to move on. What do you think, Boyd? You ready to blow this popsicle stand? A Molotov cocktail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? The milkman has completed, milkman has his, completed his, route. his route. You guys want to split a cab? So this is inner milkman. Now the asylum's gonna go up in smoke. And the crew isn't even that clean. I mean, what do I have to do to get those guys to take me seriously? When are you going to shut up and kiss me? Um, I can hear that. I know. <laughs> Surrender. Ta-da! Psychonauts have a word for people who turn on their own. 
The end. So that's Psychonauts. Final thoughts? Huh. <laughs> that was the end of the game. No final boss. Everybody died. Just, I mean... <laughs> I... I feel like gamers would be pissed, but, like, someone like me, I'd be like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, what would you do if during that blackout the credits started to roll? I feel like they missed an excellent opportunity for a fake out. Always in such a rush, Rasputin. It takes years before you're ready for combat of that magnitude. Well, you'd be surprised, Nine. This one's been acing all my extra I wonder if you don't ace his extra credit exams if that line's still in there. <laughs> like if you don't do the scavenger hunt and all the um, extra stuff that Crawler wants you to do. That, or if he says it and you go to say like, but I didn't, he goes, shh. <laughs> Not now. See? See how he likes it. Where's his brain? Oh, probably stuck in one of his plans to take over the world somewhere. <laughs> now, do you remember his plan er, from early on? There was a boss fight that foreshadowed this. Yeah, where he, like, had brains and robots and... Hey, mm -hmm. how's the weather down there? So this is the big Finally. battle with uh, Coach Oleander. He's got his brain in a brain tank. Glad picking on someone your own size. Yes, I've been dying for a chance to pick your brain. Two can play that game. Can they? <laughs> We're both psychonauts. Let's do it. I mean, we beat the blueprint. How bad could the real thing be? All right, so now that we're fighting an actual brain tank, he's going to put up a barrier. And you gotta be quick because every so often he's gonna be rebuilding that barrier. But the first thing we gotta do is take on the barrier and then damage the um, glass container that's shielding the brain. Okay. So we wanna use telekinesis, uh, pyrokinesis, and shield wouldn't hurt. So use telekinesis and destroy the rubble. You can take little pieces, just little pieces of debris just scattered around the battle arena, and then go up to the wooden gate and use pyrokinesis. But you've got to be quick because they will try to block you with another block. His psychic hands are constantly rebuilding. So you have a small window. There we go. And then when that burns down, launch a brick right into the glass. <laughs> Do it a couple times, and once it shatters, you finish the battle. Hmm. Yep. And I got close to full health right now. I just need one I more say, brain. I did see that, that you have almost all the brains. Yep, just one left. Ah. Careful. Ah. My grandma used to tell my brother <laughs> that, um... Whenever God was handing out brains, he thought he said it was going to rain, so we brought an umbrella. Ugh. Okay, okay, good. Burn. <laughs> Fire, burn. And launch. It's usually pretty forgiving with the final launch. Like, if you so much as do the motion, the game will register that as a hit and play the cutscene. Okay. The hardest part is getting to the wooden gate. 
and burning that. Once you burn it and you're able to like grab a piece and throw it before he can rebuild, that counts in your favor. Hmm. Yeah. It's actually not too hard of a battle. Yeah, it sounds pretty forgiving. Yeah. You just gotta be quick. Because like if you take too long, he will continuously rebuild the wall. Alas, I am not quick. <laughs> and there we go. Go, Raz, go! Now let's retrieve his brain and put a stop to all this. Uh-oh. Super sneezing powder. Super sneezing. Not too it's a secret weapon. Have to hold it in. Wait. <laughs> oh, this what is just great. <laughs> hey, you! Over here! No, the other way. It's like um, in Dead Man's Chest when the one guy loses his head. Yeah. He's just like, Gordy, come here! No, the other way! <laughs> they also do that on... Um... So, yeah, to move his brain, use telekinesis on yourself. Huh. Launch yourself into the brain tank, and now your mind will begin to meld. I was going to say Hocus Pocus. They do that when Billy loses his head. Ah, that's right. Yep. So what do you think the final level is going to be? Raz's brain versus his body. Okay. But, like, what do you know about Raz? Like, his backstory? He was a circus performer. Okay. So he's going to be battling himself. Pretty much. So, are you ready to go to a very bizarre circus? Oh, boy. And there's Maury's inner child. Coach Oleander? What are you doing in my mind? How did you get in my happy meadow? Nobody's supposed to know about it. You didn't tell my dad about it, did you? <laughs> oh, that's him! Oh no! Come on, little bunny! We'll be safe in here! So everything is starting to come together. Remember how, like, way early on there was, like, a caravan, a gypsy caravan, mm -hmm. a rabbit that you had to follow? Yeah. And a heavy focus on, like, Raz's history in the circus? Well, this is the final level that is a blend of Raz's backstory and Coach Oleander's backstory. Because hmm. both brains are in the tank. Exactly. So they're going to fuse together. And we are at... The Meat Circus. Okay. The circus I remember from my childhood was definitely not made of meat. And this is a really challenging level. This is notorious for having just a huge difficulty spike. I feel like this is a vegan's worst nightmare. <laughs> well, that too. Alright, so first things first. Yeah, you still have all the webs, the cards, and brains. We can redeem them at this little teller right here. Okay. Which is good because, again, this is a point of no return. You can't go back to Ford Crawler's lab, so it's nice that they give you this little stand to be like, hey, all that I mean, stuff yeah. that you've collected in case you forgot to and you've reached this point of no return, here's a nice stop for you. And that's where I'm going to turn in, basically, my last brain so that I can get full health. Ooh. There's still a few... Uh, emotional baggage that we have to collect. This is a level just like the rest. <laughs> Whee! Is it my friend? Down there. Confusion ammo upgrade. Which I don't use too much. Oh, shit. Well, at least I got the tag. Huh. <laughs> yeah, we say tiny... Oh, really? Out here? That's unfair. You say goodbye, world. 
I think I still got the tag. Yes, I do. <laughs> How nice of it. Oh, we already saw this. All right, now. Make another side challenge marker. Gain the rank. Rank 91. You get infinite ammo if you reach 95, but I don't really find it necessary. But it's a nice little perk to be like, hey, you don't have to worry about ammo yeah. anymore. For C Pedale! <laughs> good, good. Also, the music in this area is the one that I use in the Tim Burton video, the one that goes... Okay, so, the first part of the meat circus is you've got to protect little Ollie. He's going to be trying to chase after the rabbit, but there's going to be some abominations that's going to come after him. It looks like your childhood memories of the circus got all Because what's coming up is basically childhood scarring monsters. My memories were bad enough. This is just gross. Into the meat grinder comes a rabbit abomination. You'd better you keep that go into the grinder. So yeah, this is basically an escort mission, and they can be very frustrated because you don't have to just worry about your health being depleted, it's always, but another character as well. Especially when you don't have control over the other character. Exactly. You don't have control over little Ollie. But what you got to do is you got to slow down the rabbit so that he can catch it. These things will occasionally pop out of the meat grinder. Shoot them early on and you won't have to worry about them. Grab another tag because of course we do. Tag, you're it. And we're also going to grab some of these figments as well. There you go. Come here, little guy. Yeah, what I like to do is just hold him with telekinesis. Here comes Ollie. You better grab it before that rabbit grabs you. Damn it. Get away from him, you bitch. <laughs> Alright, Molly. There you go. The debris was blocking little Ollie. That rabbit is a chonkers. No. Meet your bunny. So now he's going to fly up to the next area, where it will be even harder to protect him. And you got to, and you stay down here. Ew. So yeah. I don't like that. Nah, I'm not fond of it either. This has been notorious to where like the developers have like outright apologized that like it wasn't supposed to be that this hard. way. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be that hard. And this is just the first part. There's a couple other segments later on. The Meat Circus had me really pissed the first time I played it. This playthrough, I do pretty well, except for towards the end, I'm not gonna lie. See, I feel like I wouldn't do well playing this game. Like, you if, if you just, like, like this had me play it. This is a notoriously it. difficult level. Like, even if you know what you're doing, it's still hard because you gotta protect Ollie. That's Ollie's health. When that mm. depletes, you lose. Because Ollie dies. I don't think Ollie regains health. Or maybe he does. Maybe, like, each time he goes to a new segment, his health would replenishes, which would be nice. Okay, it does. So that's a little better. There's still a lot of, like, acrobatics you have to do. But you gotta, like, nail them early on because he's taking damage waiting on you. Yeah. I think what would have made it a little easier is, like, once you reach him, that's when the abominations can show up. Like, make it a little fair. Right. Instead of him taking damage while you're just like, Alright, kid, I'll be there in a second. Just calm down. You're, like, trying to get to him. Uh-huh. Like, I'm trying, Ollie. Come on. Oh, that was nice. I fell and it counted as a miss instead of just me falling and having to climb back up. Hmm. These guys are going to cough out daggers. Kind of got to, like, cheat them and lure them into throwing a dagger at the spinning wheel. 
then we can swing right off it. Hang in there, Ollie! He's like, I'm shredding my hands to pieces, but I'll get to Ooh, you. Oh, God. All right, where are you? Thank God I have the fire ricochet for my marksmanship. Nope, not him. Ollie is like, it's fine, I'm only a little bit dead. Really? I have to show up right next to the kid? Yeah, all the health that I'm grabbing, it goes to me. I can't share any with Ollie. Here, kid. Have a couple bits of mental health. An apple a day keeps the doctor away if you throw hard enough. Hey, hey, hey. Did you ever see Miss Major Pain? I don't think so. Oh my god, it's like this comedy about like this like retired vet who becomes like a Boy Scout coach. Oh god. And he's just like, I see you have a sense of humor. I do too. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he's all like, give me 120 laps around the field. Are you deaf? Actually, sir, he is deaf. I didn't ask you anything. I'm sorry, are you deaf? Well, I apologize, but do you know sign language? Give me 120 laps around the field before I stick my boot up your ass! I think uh, Damon Wayans is the uh, actor who plays Major Payne. I don't know where I... I wonder if I have that movie. I don't know where I picked that up, though. Please, Mr. <laughs> See, I think of Major Payne. <laughs> okay. And there we go. We did it. My robin is like, let me down. Now it's time for the main event. Just oh, thinking God. of mice and men. I'm not looking forward to the main event. All right, let's go into this mental vault, and then we'll see you all in the finale. The Ooh. big top. Okay. Toodles. Aw. You can hear me all the bun buns. Sadly, it couldn't last forever.